Hi guys, my name is Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very croaky today, so apologies, I'm not feeling very well. But I really wanted to get a vlog filmed for you because I wanted to say a huge thank you um, for everyone that wished me happy birthday on my last vlog. It was really, really lovely. Um, it was so nice to have sewing friends all over the world wishing you wishing me well for my birthday so thank you I had an absolutely lovely day sewing with my friend Yvonne who is getting a stitch on Instagram and I wanted to tell you what I made and what my day was like now I do want to say a huge thank you to two lovely sewing vloggers um Ginny who is so me beautiful she has quite a new sewing vlog um, and Jay from A Camden Stitch, who very kindly <laughs> offered to buy me um, two of the patterns from my wish list, which was so kind. So I have the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress and the Rosa shirt and dress pattern winging its way to me, which is super kind. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, I am looking forward to making them and showing all of you guys what they're like. Um, I will drop the links to their channels down below. So please do go and check them out. So I started off by heading downstairs, I was waiting for my friend to arrive and I traced out the pattern for the Blackwood cardigan um, and I also cut out the pattern pieces for the Cloth Habit Harriet bra which I have been wanting to try for a while and I was hoping that all of the extra bra findings that I needed would be arriving that day. Now let me show you the fabric I've got. This is the beautiful fabric. Like, look at the tiny pieces <laughs> that come in a bra. Um, this fabric, which I'll put in a picture of here, um, is from the uh, Small Bobbins shop. Now, I am hosting Nika November, as you guys know, with Romy and Kirsten. And Kirsten runs a bra supply shop. And so I thought it was fitting for me to buy some fabric from her shop for this month. And I bought the one I just showed you, which is an X designer mesh. And I also bought this beautiful um, lace. This is two layers and I'm not going to be able to open it up. Um, here you go. Beautiful burgundy lace. And I think they go really rather well together. So that is my pieces cut out for my Harriet bra, which <coughs> I am hoping to make really soon. Um, unfortunately not all of the findings arrived and because I wasn't feeling very well I wasn't really up to tackling sort of a fiddly project um, but I'm pleased to have got it cut out and I'm hoping to get it sewn up really soon. All I'm waiting for now is the underwire and then I can get going so I mean I could get going beforehand but I haven't yet. <laughs> um, and then I traced out the Blackwood cardigan like I said. I have owned the Blackwood cardigan from Helen's Closet for a little while but I have mentioned before on a vlog that I'm not a big fan of like jersey cardigans. If I'm going to have a cardigan, I want it to look like knitwear. I mean, really, I want it to be knitwear. <laughs> but realistically, I want it to look like knitwear. And I haven't found lots and lots of that kind of cardigan knit fabric um, in the UK this year. And I have found one black piece from uh, Fabricland in Kingston. Um, which I bought when I was with Yvonne so I thought it'd be like an appropriate thing for me to <laughs> make um, and just something that I really need in my wardrobe. So when Yvonne arrived the first thing that I did was make up the Blackwood cardigan and I'll pop in some pictures but it's very boring to show you, <laughs> you really um, but some of the most worn things in our wardrobe are pretty boring aren't they? See it's just a uh, plain black sort of sweater knit um, it's quite a cheap one it's nothing fancy um i've made view b which is the hip length version um i <laughs> i'm unconvinced it's useful and it's going to get wear but the things that differ from this to what i would wear what i would make what i would wear in a ready to wear cardigan the band at the bottom <laughs> is too deep so I would like to try again lengthening the um, bodice pieces slightly and reducing the length of the band. The neck band is also too deep. If you look at a ready to wear cardigan um, that's like a knitwear style cardigan it doesn't have that big a band like it really doesn't and I think that if you did a narrower band and then added buttons 
this would have potential so i am going to try it again if and when i can ever find some more sweat in it um let me know if you know of a good supplier of it because i yeah i'd like to buy some more um i did really like the sleeves and i liked the kind of cuff on the sleeves so that was a positive and the general shape is a positive it's, it's sort of a little bit more like a ready to wear cardigan than some others that i've seen um but it needs work i also am wondering whether you could do a mock band um using the overlocker for the hem because it sort of seems to add a little bit of bulk that i'm not really sure it needs um yeah so i'm just wondering if you could just make the bodice longer and then like fold it up and overlock it um if any of you have ever done that with the blackwood cardigan please let me know i made a size 18 it took about a meter and a half of fabric and it's definitely going to get wear but it isn't the one yet and then i thought i'd make something a bit more fun <laughs> um no offense to the blackwood cardigan but it's not exactly the most inspiring thing <laughs> to make um and i thought i would crack on with something that i've been preparing for a little while now i have wanted to try fabric painting and fabric drawing for a while i talked about it in my vlog on tuesday my birthday vlog um that i wanted to try some fabric paints and i think i'm going to buy some fabric paints because i got some hobby craft gift vouchers for my birthday so i think that might be what i do um but i have a print from tiger which i absolutely fell in love with <laughs> i say a print from tiger so the shop flying tiger that sells quite a few kind of quirky things um they sell photo frames and in the photo frame um rather than it just being like a piece of paper that says photo frame they have kind of drawings of people and i absolutely love the drawing of the curvy lady wearing glasses i just love it you know i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but you know when you just look at something and think that is that's for me i love it um and i have a copy of it in my sewing room and i've taken out the the paper and coloured in the glasses bright red which i love <laughs> and um i've wanted to put that on a top for quite a while and i bought myself some fabric pens um a few weeks ago and uh got home from work early one day and decided to give it a go um so i traced the um picture onto some tracing paper and then i attached the tracing paper onto my french like french window in my house and taped the fabric on top of it and i used a calico now i know calico is not really supposed to be for proper clothes it's supposed to be for twelves but i picked up this like remnant of this calico um and i'm not sure if it's going to zoom but you can see it's got like flex in it and things um from fabric land and it was just in the remnant bin it was like one pound fifty or something um it was a bit of a weird shaped remnant but it was like probably about a meter 20 a meter 30 and um i picked it up thinking it would be really good to practice some fabric painting on so i thought well what i'm going to do is draw this lady on the fabric but that i might as well cut it into a pattern like a, a piece for a pattern so that i know where it's going to be placed so i cut out the riley top um, which is by Jenny Smith. I'm actually going to have a vlog coming out on Tuesday talking all about that pattern, um, which is, it's a raglan sleeved woven top. Um, so I cut out the front bodice piece so that the lady sit on the, in the corner. And I, I painstakingly traced this, um, this lady onto the top and coloured it all in as neatly as I possibly could. And then you have to leave it for 24 hours um, before you then iron it to set the colour so that it doesn't run I was so nervous it was going to run <laughs> and it, I'd ironed it a couple of times and um, and the front piece was just sat and I hadn't cut out the rest of the top or um or sewn anything up including the darts and I decided to do that for my birthday because you know the specky seamstress deserves a specky curvy girl top um and I I'm absolutely in love with it. <laughs> I put one of my um, specky labels in it 
uh, because it deserves it and this one I've added cuffs to because I felt like a calico top <laughs> with painting on it deserved to be sort of a bit arty and casual and um yeah I'm in love so I sewed up both of the this one and another version of the same top which I think I'll show you in a little bit more detail in my vlog on Tuesday but I've added this beautiful trim from RTJ trim shop and um, which I picked up at the handmade festival and showed you guys earlier on in the year um which is so beautiful and it was just so funny just throwing it off the hanger <laughs> um that I made like a really quite classy grown-up top and then I made this which is like quite quirky and a bit different um but I felt like that was like a good kind of summary of, of my style um and I was really really happy to and I'm happy to report that the washing machine did not make the colours run or wash off at all and um, they're just as good as they were when I put it in the wash so I'm really really super happy with that now halfway through making those the post knocked on the door and I knew I was expecting a couple of parcels now it felt like birthday presents but they were all things I paid for <laughs> whoops let me show you what arrived on the day a couple of weeks ago um Lubadoo Fabrics had a discount code 20% off everything and actually they have a 20% off discount code available until Sunday so this vlog is going live on Friday um the vlog the discount code for 20% off is available until midnight Sunday so please do go check it out it's all added straight at the, at the um checkout stage so you don't actually need like a code but go check it out um and I decided to be sensible and buy some planes I, I don't know what's happened to me I've turned 29 and I'm like <laughs> planes all over the place Um, I bought some plain teal um cotton jersey I bought three meters of this because I'd like to make myself a really nice dress and then also a Freya top a Tilly the Buttons Freya top like I'm wearing here um to put underneath I bought a meter of a plain navy jersey for a Freya top as well and then I bought a burgundy to do the same and realised I already had <laughs> a Freya top um, in this colour so I might make myself a Tilly and the Buttons BB skirt out of this instead and then also um, I picked up half a metre of this fabric because I have a few friends that are having babies soon and I am going to venture into making some baby clothes and I thought that this just I just picked up half a meter um this is that fabric that smells like lemons for a few washes um which is a bit odd <laughs> if I'm honest yeah it's a bit weird um and then also uh Laurel is launching a blogger team and my first fabric for the blogger um make was sent to me in the same parcel and it's this beautiful petrol blue stretch need needle cord it's very very pretty and i am not 100 percent sure what i'm going to make with it yet <laughs> but i will let you know really soon now also in the post was a delivery from so me sunshine now i picked up a couple of fabrics but the main reason i made a purchase was because i found this pattern on their website this is the Merchant and Mills Camber set top and dress pattern and this is this was reduced that's what I was trying to say and <laughs> um, this was reduced down to £10 because Harriet had said that the packaging was really damaged Harriet <laughs> this is not really damaged um, so anyway I picked this up because as you guys know I've been on the hunt for some woven top patterns and I love the Riley pattern which I'll be talking all about on Tuesday um, from Jenny Smith but I'm still on the hunt for a set in sleeve pattern and this is set in sleeve and it has a little yoke at the back so I'm going to give that a go which I'm quite excited by and then when I found that and was on the website anyway <laughs> I picked up half a metre of this gorgeous um i'm looking at it it looks like more than half a meter i think um gorgeous fleece backed jersey um with all of these lovely ladies faces on it which i'm hoping to make one sleeve from a kabuki tee i feel like this is quite bold and i'm really into color blocking at the minute so i'm hoping that this will look cool as a kabuki tee i'd like to make it full length sleeves 
so I might add a really deep cuff but I think I could do like a self cuff in this and then I mentioned in my birthday video that I'd bought a um, Mind the Maker, I know I said Meet the Maker, a Mind the Maker viscose um, remnant. This is a 95 centimetres of, it says teal rust polka dot. It's like a very dark teal. It's almost like a slightly greeny navy, um, but it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, irregular polka dot. And it's such lovely quality. It's made me want all of the Mind the Maker fabrics which is wonderful for my bank balance <laughs> so that came in the post <laughs> which was lovely um and then i finished off the tops that i've just shown you and then i thought i would make a pair of winslow clots because um ivan was making a pair of full length winslow clots in viscose which were really lovely and what i had done after i'd made those tops was that i was quite tired and not feeling very well so i'd sorted out um, all of my work in progress boxes and I discovered that most of my work in progress boxes was full of scraps <laughs> or bits of fabric that weren't even usable that I just like I'd cut out what I was going to make and then just put the leftovers in a, in that box even though it was my work in progress box so I managed to condense my three boxes of work in progress unwanted clothes and then like ready to wear clothes that I think I can rescue fabrics from and then makes that need altering so i had three boxes and i've condensed them down into two and they're not overflowing at all which is very rare for me um and in that i found a pair of winslow clots that i had cut out but not sewn and so i started making those but i was quite tired and we had ordered chinese food um now i do the elasticated waist winslow clots which is why they are taking up the whole screen um, at the minute and um I'm trying to find the side seams for you <clears throat> anyway um so i make the elasticated waist back ones and it's in this stretch poly which i think is a john loudon that i picked up from john lewis it's got these um white and black uh, <clears throat> tigers on it which i picked up in the john lewis sale last christmas so i have constructed them other than interfacing the inside waistband folding over making the elastic casing adding the elastic and hem them that's all i need to do so i got quite far but didn't quite finish them but really excited for these with tights in the winter my voice really is giving way now um the very last thing that i did when I didn't really want to tackle elastic and waistbands um, was pick up this Zadie jumpsuit which I talked about in my lack of sojo vlog and then I talked about in my regaining my sojo vlog um, but I had still hung on the door of shame <laughs> for a little while um, unfinished and the only thing that needed finishing was I needed to hem the sleeves and the legs and I picked that up and I did that so now I have a gorgeous Cupro green amazing soft beautiful full length lady jumpsuit as well which is great <laughs> so all in all a really productive sewing day and a lovely day so um really nice way to spend my birthday thank you so much for continuing to watch my vlogs and to anyone who gave me a birthday coffee over on Kofi, super special thank you to you thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye